Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Herald Cast. First of all, I just wanted to say shout out to you guys and girls watching on YouTube. I have been taking your feedback on board and I have started a second channel, if you didn't see already, where we're going to be uploading not only clips, but also very smart little edits. I'm working closely with a mystery editor, soon to be revealed, to make some very, very cool content out of the Herald games. So, if you want, of course, the full action, you'll always be able to find the complete games on this channel, but if you fancy sort of the more bite-sized memeified content then check out my other channel that i'll drop in the link below i hope you enjoy the content we're going to be pulling out on there should be uh putting out the first one next week you'll see the first edit so get yourself subbed over there and uh, of course subbed over here as well if you do and still enjoy the full uh full game action anyway here we go we're getting in for the first bit of fun wait what's happening here sorry to make you lose this game slider well, we've got some Total some old chat already here. Very polite old chat. A little bit of an apology here from the confident Medusa. Apologizing to their opponents for beating them already. Anyway, let's have a look what we have from both teams on the side of Radiant. We have Warlock. Uh, we've got an offlane Sludar. We have a mid-winter Wyvern by the looks of it. Gloves of haste first. No need for any HP. This man's just got a clarity. Bottom lane, we're going to have a carry Naga Siren with a full wand, no regen, and an Undying who has got some regen to make sure that the Naga Siren will be safe in lane. Bottom, looks like Slark wanted to start here, uh, but then he's uh, figured out that he actually wants to go top instead. He needs to. He is, well, hang on. Does it, well, Medusa might not be too happy with this. Hold up. <laughs> Medusa's like, hang on. Hang on, where's this Slark come from? Uh, but yeah, Slark's gone to the top lane. Looks like down bottom, we're going to have Lion Farming. Well, no, they've made one of them. It's going to be an Invoker Lion dual lane on the bottom against the Naga Siren Undyne. We'll see how that goes. I imagine Invoker, probably with these items, is more likely to go for the creeps. Uh, but yeah, top, we're going to have a Slark Medusa lane from Dyer. Now, boots first here on the Medusa. And also with the split shot. So ready to farm and push that wave out. Well, it's going to be a bit of a tough lane, though, without the regen. I uh, feel Slark, he's still figuring out what his plan in life is. He probably feels a little bad now. He's like, oh, dear. Oh, no, I came to the top lane, but Medusa's going to be farming here. Medusa is kind of dying. The Fatal Bond's there, hitting hard, uh, and no regen. Maybe now it's the time to tag team in. This is the new strat here. You don't need to buy regen on your carry if there's another carry that's ready to hit creeps when you don't have any HP. So that's sort of the idea that Dyer's come into this game with. And it's, it's a novel one, but it might just work. So Slark, for now, he's been tag-teamed into the lane. Medusa's just... Well, we probably got some, Here we go. Six tangos. She's going to be healing up nicely. Just needs a little bit of time for the delivery. You know, not the fastest courier here in town. Uh, here at just uh, level one. Uh, anyway, mid lane. We haven't really looked at that other than the starting items of the Wyvern. As Clarity's going to come in use. He's a little low on the mana. Let's uh, hope that he doesn't get that Clarity taken off him uh, by a hit from the Drow once he pops it. CS in the mid so far. 9 for 7 against the 4 for 2. Drow is smashing it. Very nice last taking so far here from Drow Ranger. Top. Oh. Oh, no. This is going to hurt. Oh, this is really going to hurt. The Shadow Word and the Fatal Bond. These two are cut. They're, they're just... Oh, it's a rough spot. Looks like Medusa was a bro, actually. She got the tangos out. She hasn't even, you know, she, she was more in, interested in giving a tango to the Slark first. So some real team play. Very admirable to see there. Finally chomps down on the tango themselves. Passes another one over there to the Slark. So really friendly behavior here from the Medusa. I mean, it is going to be needed because Medusa was quite cocky uh, with her opening words. Bottom lane. Some aggression here. They're coming in with a tombstone. The zombies nearly kill off the lion. And Dying's going to be able to turn with the decay and take down Invoker. A good aggressive dive there from Radiant. Secures them first blood. But yeah, nice to see some friendly play here from Medusa. They're chomping through the tangos. Medusa's now been able to step up. She's going to try and go for some CS now herself. Uh, but obviously, as we're seeing, Slada, he is crushing the lane uh, without the need of the spell. He's 12 for 4 against Medusa's... Zero and zero. Here we go. She's going to get a CS now. Come on, Medusa. You could... Ooh. Well, she's going to get beaten down a little bit. Hey, she got to last it, though. There we go. We're on the board. Medusa's turned up and ready to farm right now. Let's see what's going on. Who's getting the CS down here? It is the Lion. So it looks to be Lion. He's made the call that he's going to go for the creeps. Get himself a Blink Dagger as soon as he can. 
Uh, Invoker will still be going for a, a pretty standard build, going for the urn, uh, but will be a, a, from the support position. So the position four Invoker in play. Slark, he's backed off from the top lane. Uh, it's, it was a rough lane, so understandable that he wants to look somewhere else to go. There's the Orb of Corrosion. He's ready to come and hit some heroes. Maybe see if he can help out get a kill down here with Lion and with Invoker. They've got good setup and good control between the stun and the cold snap. So maybe they can get something going down here. And, you know, Lion and Invoker, I'm sure they won't mind giving up some CS here to their Slark. Yeah, let Slark get a bit of farm down on this bottom lane. Does mean that Medusa's completely on her own top. And once again, out of regen, we've got more coming out. Whoa, ho, ho! Oh, they're like, my goodness! I'm taking a lot of damage up here. This late, she's addicted to the tangos. Oh, she is. 12 more tangos sent out here. Keep, keep it. He's got to keep himself up. Report Invoker. What's going on? Oh, right. That's not friendly. I guess, I mean, he's come to the Invoker's lane. I mean, Invoker's like, what, what, what are you doing? Yeah, Slark turns up to the lane and then he's like, report Invoker. I can only imagine he's not happy because Invoker took some CS. But let's be fair. He's only got one CS, so I don't even know what he did. The Sunstrike. I mean, this man's great. He lands the Sunstrike. Slark's just dying here to the zombies and the Naga Siren. I mean, I don't think you're in a position to call for a report on the Invoker. Sure, Invoker goes down. Slark's going to probably see that as a reason to continue to flame him. Uh, but uh, no, Slark not being a friendly boy. Even though the vibes at the start were pretty good. Medusa was helping him out, giving him tangos, keeping him happy. He's now come down to the bottom lane and he's been a little angry. We'll see if he chills out. He's back in the game and he's going to go to the top. He didn't really have much fun down bottom. Apparently didn't like the Invoker. So we'll see if he makes, uh, you know, it, 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 yes, I was going to say, he can't be rude to the Medusa. The Medusa is really kind to him with those early tangos in the lane. Uh, how's the mid CS doing? Is Wyvern catching back up? A little bit, 15 for 3. But uh, still Drow's definitely going to be rather scary. She seems to be farming very nicely here in the mid lane. 26-13. Yeah, Drow's having a solid start. It's not, uh, not too easy here for the Wyvern. Level 6 online as well. So a lot of damage to come through when they chase down top lane. Dark Pack removes the Fatal Bonds, but they still get the kill. Slardar's able to chase him down. I have a feeling Slark's not going to be too happy. It's a rough start for him. He just didn't really find a place to be. Top lane wasn't... You know, he's sharing a lane with the Medusa's never going to feel good. He tried to come down bottom. He was evidently not happy in that position. So, uh, yeah, Slark's going to have to find a spot for him in this team. It's a slow opening. So it looks like, I believe, more Tangos were sent out. So Medusa making sure that they don't die. And sure, they might not be hitting the creeps, but they're not feeding. So some very safe play here from the Medusa in this landing stage. See bottom. Undying. It's going to try and get aggressive onto the lion. The zombies are up. They're chasing. They're going to have to go pretty deep, though, if they want to try and finish this. And that's a, a little too far. Lion's fine. Invoker. He's in from the side. He's got a tornado, but he's a little on the mana. Hasn't really got much more of a combo to throw out. Lion's coming back in with another stun. But uh, maybe unlikely that they have the damage to kill these two. We'll see them. Look, oh, okay. With enough for the meatball. That will do it. Very, uh, yeah. Perfect spell usage there. Now with the Hex Lion, they might even live as well. It's going to take away. Oh, turns around there. Takes a bit of mana to try and limit what this Undying is going to be able to throw out. Lion's still alive. Uh, and Undying, he's the one that's running for his life. As uh, he'll get out with the TP. Mid lane. We've got Drow coming in with the dive, looking to take down Wyvern. It's not enough damage. How long to the multi shot? Yeah, short on the mana for multi shot. Wyvern's still terrified here. And Drow, well, Drow's still hunting. Oh, Drow. He's going to get the connection. Needs a few more hits. But oh, the, the heal's back up. And Drow's taking a heavy amount of damage here from the tower. Slardar TP's over. He's got the sprint and the boots. Let's see if he's able to chase down Drow. Maybe seeing if he can shut off the retreat of Drow. Good movement from the Slider, actually. Getting himself in a position where, which makes it very hard for the Drow to get back to their tower. Unlucky with the crush, though. Couldn't quite get in range for the crush. Drow's trying to go for the regen rune. Will be taken off immediately. The bash is there. As the tombstone's down, she'll push them back with a the gust. They'll continue to dive. Invoker's in with a save, though. Comes in. Tornado. That will be enough. 
Or will it actually? Undying's trying to get in with the Wrath Brown. Maybe look for a Soul Rip and a Decay to take down this Drow. Still continue to hide in the trees. Drow. I mean, Undying, he really wants to go for this kill, but Drow will be fine. Nice move from Invoker. Keeps the mid safe, gets Drow out of there. We'll give a bit of room to Radiant as they're able to push in. They're starting to get a bit of lead off the stage. It's this landing stage, 4-1, to one, 1k lead. And what do we have down bottom? Naga Siren. No boots, straight Diffusal. Now that, of course, will mean that the Diffusal will come out at a very good time. I see all three cores of Radiant doing very well right now. Dyer just falling a little bit behind because of the, the, the sort of the awkward situation they had top with the Medusa and Slark. Sharing the lane, but neither hero really quite able to farm in it against Radiant's lane setup. What do we have here? Thank you, Invoker. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I believe... Very slow on the, the thank you, but I can only imagine uh, thanking him for that earlier move on mid. So, very nice. Very nice the Drow to take their time to be very gracious... And, uh, res you know, re really respected the fact that Invoker came in to help her out in the mid lane. Top lane. Oh, it's going to be slammed down. Good combo here. We'll get the slide pretty low. But again, Dark Pack saving his life quite a few times. They're removing that Shadow Word. The Tombstone's still going to be dropped. Zombies out onto the two of them. That's well, a little bit of a slow, allowing the Golem to, to close in. Slardar's coming in with the wraparound. Oh, beautiful crush. Holds back on it, waits in to get the hit onto the two of them. Some nice moves here from the Slaughter, honestly. We saw a good attempt in mid, and the swing up towards the top lane, always able to sort of catch the enemies on the back of an escape. Some really good aggressive play, and it's keeping them ahead. Over into the mid. Invoker coming in to help out the Drow, but uh, why even just a, a little too tanky as it is? The tornado, the curse. Is that going to kill the Drow? A little low on mana, so not a splinter blast available. The right clicks, he needed another. Drow's able to live. Invoker turns with the Sunstrike. Good attempt, but not enough damage from the spells right now. As Wyvern will live, Invoker's going to be the one to go down. But we're seeing a beautiful relationship here in the mid between the Invoker and the Drow. Really nice stuff. You know, even with Invoker dying, you can see the, the intention. Trying to set up and get this Drow, you know, Drow's game into even better of a position. Because right now, Drow's the only one kind of doing okay. Everybody else is slipping behind on Dire. We see... We, out of the top six, five members of the Radiant side are in that. It's close, but you know what I mean. It's 4k at 11 minutes. It's not going to feel too good here. It's not going to feel too good here for Dyer. It's been a slow start for them. Bottom lane. Yeah, Diffusal's done. Nagasari can get that out. As I said, it's without the boots, but honestly, if you're setting up with the Diffusal slow and you've got the Trap of the Ensnare... You can get away without the boots. I like it. The, d the early defusal is going to be very deadly. Blink dagger for the Slardar, of course, next. And he's closing in on it. You see top, Invoker. Quick EMPs drop down. Warlock trying to hold his ground, but he gets caught out by the stun. There is a finger at the ready hit. So they should have this if Lion wants to use the ult. And there it is. Comes in with a burst. Starting to get those stacks built up here. Good first ult here from the line, and that will secure the gold for the line's blink dagger. It's come in handy very nicely uh, when they're looking to make a jump. Medusa's been hitting the jungle a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be the quickest of jungling. Did go for the max mana shield. Only has that one point in the split shot on the snake. So clearing the camps isn't going to be the quickest. But Dyer, yeah, it's fine. All they need is time. All they need is time. And if they get that time, they've got the carries to scale rather nicely. They, yeah, they've got a Drow, a Slark, and a Medusa. The greed is there, but greed can be good here at this MMR. Yeah, it's going to take some time. The lowest net worth right now, the, the Medusa. But the tables can turn and things can change. We're only 13 minutes into the game. The game is still young. Slardar, just casually blocking his own camp there. He's needing to... Oh, Drow. Drow's getting in on this. But uh, it's a bit scary. They set up here with the ensnare. Golem's going to be dropped down as well. Drought. Can they really run from this? The zombies chase them down. The defusal blade slow comes in. They get the kill. Drow's taken out. Creepway pushing in. Some good use here with the ult. They'll be able to get some good tower damage here done on the tier 2. Medusa's coming over. Maybe seeing if they can slow down this push. Fortification will clear out the golem. But the tombstone still prevails. Dyer, can they fight into this? 
We'll get the vision out. But Radiant in their numbers are very hard to go on. No point skilled into the song quite yet. Now, to be fair, the Nargasaurin hasn't needed it. I'm saying, I only died the once. Zero, one, and four. Whoa, those illusions! Gotta be careful. Now that Diffuser Blade's there. Uh, poor old Lion. We'll die pretty quickly here to Nargasaurin's army. Back on the mid. Quick pushback with the gust. Drow's gonna be fine. Still working on that Dragon Lance. The Blink Dagger's on its way out. Slada's been very aggressive so far, so looking forward to seeing him continue that aggression and jump in to smash the enemies. What? Oh, Nargasaurin's just going in! Going in onto the high ground here. They do have the backup of the wall up, but there's no Golem. Great stone gaze here. Good movement. Medusa gets in between them, shutting off the retreat of the Naga Siren. They may be the lowest net worth there, but making magic happen here with just treads alone 14 minutes in, setting up with that stone gaze and, and getting one of the bigger kills. Naga Siren, second highest on the net worth up there with the Slada. So a very nice setup from Medusa. It was a very greedy move there for Naga Siren. Very, very greedy. What's the build here? Okay, Echo Saber, nothing surprising from Slark. Slark going back to complete the treads. Going to see the Ags. Going for the big items here, Warlock. Love to see it. Mid Wyvern still yet to spend up. We'll see what way he's going to think about taking this. Does he want the Blink Dagger for positioning? Does he want to build some more carry-esque items, seeing as he is running the Wyvern from the mid lane? There's a, a lot of options. Lion's got finger back up. So if they want to try and jump someone with the burst, they'd have a pretty good job of it. Backup coming in from the drow. There's definitely fight potential to be had here from Dyer. Radiant, 20 seconds until the golem's back. Bottom invoker, finishing off the vessel. Unfortunately, for the holding onto the broom handle. Something that would probably be quite appreciated by Slark, at least. Who himself doesn't hold on to a neutral item at this stage. I mean, see what Warlock wants to go. He, they really want to go. Uh, they didn't even have the Golem up yet. But, whoa, they, they really want to go. He just turns and slams it down. I mean, Slardar's in on the side with the jump. Curse as well. I mean, that will take out the Drown for sure. I mean, that is... That's sort of, that's some top-tier ult usage, really. Stone Gaze comes out from the Medusa, but she's kind of trapped in by the zombies. She's trying to run. She's amped up by the Slardar. They're going to be able to take her down as well. I mean, that was no hesitation. Fantastic out there from the Warlock. To the point where, I mean, I didn't even think that would work. But it, it, he just slams it in. Backup is there. Slardar does die here deeper beyond the Tier 2 tower. But Radiant's still going. They're going to look towards Slark. Slark with Shadow Dance. It's going to try and take down this Warlock. Good Deafening Blast pushing back the three of them. Warlock will die. But Slark's going to have his life traded for it. Very nice team fight. Lion's not done. Back in action. He's got finger. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Undying doesn't stand a chance there. Would have been Sunstriked as well. The Golem. Nicely microed actually to stay on top of the Invoker here on the chase down. All whilst this was happening, Naga Siren does continue to push in bottom. They have some casualties at the end of the fight. But honestly, as I said, a really good sign that Radiant might just be able to bring together a, a very impressive team fight. They've got great ults to do it with. What do we do now here? Desolator. All right, that's the item here for the midwyvern. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You're able to get a bit of minus armor on the target that you're cursing. They they will die to their teammates here, whether it be a Dusa or even an Invoker. You know, Slark, Drow for sure, heading into their allies. It's going to hurt. So Deso Wyvern online. Slard up. Let's see who wins this 1v1. Cold Snap causing a little bit of an issue. Meteor as well. I mean, Invoker's getting their spells off rather nicely, despite the fact that there's a Slardar on top of them. I've run out of options. Good attempt from the Invoker, but at this stage, Slardar just a bit too beefy. Down by the river. The jump on Warlock. Already shot out. Warlock tries to turn. They have the curse. And with the Deso. Look at this Deso. I mean, it, it's working. It's what The Shadow Dance comes off, but he has you already dead. Uh, it ticks out to, to some shape or form. I guess the burn got him. Over on the side, Drown Lion. Now turn with the stun set up onto the two of them, into the Hex. Wyvern is trying to get some more Deso hits off onto the Lion. 
They're grouped up very nicely. The spin splinter blast. I mean, Lion has got to be cautious. Oh, the wraparound. Nagasarin comes in from the high ground. Stun from Lion. Buy oh, it's actually going to buy in the time to get the blink off. Beautiful blink. I mean, Medusa does not have the same luxury of escape. The Deso hits and the Diffusal Blade slows. Do still kill off the Lion despite that initial fantastic blink away from the Illusions. He'll still die. And I've got to say, that Deso pickup from the Wyvern, it really is making the difference. It's getting these kills a little bit quicker. Slark would not have died if that was not a Desolator. There's no doubt about it. We saw as it was how close... Uh, it was to just being able to kill him before he gets the Shadow Dance off. In fact, he actually got it off. It was the last instance that killed him. If, th if that physical wasn't amped up by a death, so Slark may have lived, and that fight could have gone a whole lot worse for the Radiant. Over in the mid, TP's coming in. Naga Siren's low, but now the song is skilled. Should we use it to walk this one off? Not opting to TP out, just going for the slow escape. Tombstone will get fed to the Medusa. It's a nice 200 gold for him. Still sitting at the bottom of the net worth, but as I said, it's... Medusa's start time could still come. Oh, Wyvern, he's got the cut. You saw him there. He was looking for a good curse. He's going to get it onto the drow. Won't get him a kill. Sunstrike on point. Slada's coming in with the invis. Wyvern, oh, he's going to try and turn and hold his own here under the tower. He's got the cold embrace. Slark building up the essence shift stacks. Getting quite a few. They're already up to 20 essence shift. That's a lot at this stage of the game. Slark, they're doing it. They beat down the Wyvern. Slardar's got Warlock by his side. Golem's up. And you know this Warlock. As soon as he sees an enemy, he's throwing down an ult on them. Over to the side, Nagasarin did finish off the kill on Slark. But the Golem down. Dyer had to back off. Lion. Trying to keep the shape of the jumps there for Slardar. In onto the Lion. Hex is back up. Lion's still on the retreat. They're going to be able to run. Blinks back up in a few seconds. Turn with the Amp up onto the Invoker. Golem continuing to be sent forward here by Warlock, playing aggressive. They're in with the Soul Rip. They're trying to kill off this Drow and dying with the Tombstone drop down. The zombies will do it. And the Golem's still going. They'll turn their attention over towards the Medusa. The zombies continuing to do a lot here with the potential of a chase down Slada. They're going to look to try and blink in under the tower. They're getting the angle. The blink in. They're straight under the line. Line goes down, holding the crush here, Slada, ready for a bigger target. Naga Siren's ripped apart the Medusa with the Diffusal Blade Illusions. Amp up onto the Invoker. They're cleaning them up behind the tier two. There'll be a buyback coming out from Medusa here. They want to try and punish this deep dive. Decay comes in. Shadow Dance is up. This could be a bit of a cleanup here for Slark and Medusa. As they're both very low on the Radiant. Illusions back up, but immediately cleared up by the Dark Pact. There's a snake coming in, and it's a spooky snake. But the, it can Wyvern save them? Stone Gaze is going to be able to stop the Wyvern from chasing down the Slark. Slark and Medusa, they're still trying to go for this Naga Siren, but the song is up. Wyvern having to use the curse defensively to run away from Drow. Uh, Med uh, Naga Siren gets out of there, at least. Protects themselves. Needs to do so. They're very high-value kill. 9k net worth. Top farmer in the game right now. Back in mid. Eyes on the Wyvern. Slark has been diving pretty aggressively so far, and it's been working out. He's already got eight permanent essence shifts. Definitely making a good comeback after a laning stage where he just didn't have a place to be. Medusa going for the recovery farm build. Maelstrom's picked up. They want to hit those creeps. And make sure that they can take as many of them down as quickly as they can. A soldier's fortune. MKB is going to be the the item here for the Drow straight. MKB actually after the Dragon Lance, very aggressive. What's the alt state? It's twenty seconds. Twenty seconds, and then we know that Radiant's going to go for it. They have pretty much off cooldown. Warlock's just been going. It would be great if they can hit the level 12. War Drow to the side. Just a bit of a tickle. Until that MKB's done, the damage isn't too threatening here. Jump forward, Lion. Starting off the action. Gets the Lion here for the two-man stun. They're in with the Stone Gaze. Golem's going to be dropped down in an effort to try and turn this around. Sunstrike coming in onto the Undying. Undying still continues to run. Out of mana, though. Medusa taken out by the Golem. Shadow Dance from Slug having to be used to try and run from this. The Drow's brought down the Tombstone, but still dire, they're having to run. Yes. See if they can catch anything more here, dire. They'll scatter back underneath the Tier 2 tower. Another attempt to push this one down. 
Last two few times, Dyer's done a good job of keeping that tier two alive. Tornado down, a little unfortunate with the timing there. The MP doesn't quite hit. Naga Siren's wrapping around from behind. The tower's going to get taken out. Lion turns with a hex onto the Naga Siren. He's going to get the chance to, to blink out with a stun. Yeah, he's fine. Blink's refreshed. He can jump to safety. Drow's going for the Undying. Song setup. This time, an aggressive one by the looks of it. Who do they want to go for? They're going to look towards the Drow. They surround the Drow. Drow, is there any sort of save here? Stun comes out. But they're not going to be able to get the Drow back to base. Drow taken down. Radiant continuing to grow their lead now up to 10k advantage. That's up to the high ground they go. Oh, hang on. Slarder, how did he die? Slark, another permanent stack for him. Back in the mid. Medusa trying to slow down this push. Stone Gaze is up in a couple of seconds and Slark's making his way over to join the defense. They're going to start things. Onto the Undying they go. Undying's dead for sure. Slark comes in to help out and it's a big pickoff to slow down the... Aggression from Radiant. It's going to try for more. Curse will hold them back. Do they want to fight with this, though? They, they don't really have much more. Wyvern's got to continue to, to get back out of this. Slark still wants to go. I mean, they know how strong they are. They get the pounce from a perfect distance. On to Warlock. Another kill for Slark as his redemption story continues. Top lane. Nagasaren going for the tower, but it's pretty low. Invoker sweeps in. Oh, there's a finger. Oh, another stack here for Lion. And that's the Agonim is nearly done. So we're going to have that beautiful AoE finger action going on. It's always a glory to see. Slark, he's ready to dive. Why not? Cold Embrace, he loves it. And get those numbers up. 38, 37, 38, 37, 36, 35. Get them up. Keep hitting. 36, get them up. Oh, yeah, now he can pummel into the tower if he wants to. I mean, he's not much of a tower hitter, this lad. He could be. He should be. Uh, but he's more about just going for the kills. He's having a great time now after he, uh, a start, as I said, where he wasn't too happy with uh, his teammates. Not really with any reason to either. Oh, bit of, trying with a bit of stacking. The attempt was there, maybe. He's back up with the Shadow Blade. He's ready to maybe dive in mid. Does he want to just go straight for the tower dive? Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. You bet he does. Put the golems up. And he's low on mana. He's low on mana. He's not got enough for the Shadow Dance. Oh, he does. He's got enough for the Shadow Dance, so he can keep going. He's going to be able to take down Warlock. Medusa just walks in and dies to the Aghanims. Uh, he's just burning her down. Medusa's just dead. I mean, the Ag's Warlock came online at a pretty good time this game. Slark. He's just on the run. He knows not to fight. Oh, I guess, does he? Maybe he's going to feel empowered here by the fact that Invoker's turned up. The Slark is going to give it his best effort. The Meatball's down here onto Radiant Deafening Blast to push them back as well. Slark can keep going. He's taken down another Hex onto the Nagasaren, but Slark will fall. A big kill, a streak to end there. Warlock's going to be the one gaining the money. As the Golems, they're just they're doing a lot. The Golems are doing a lot. You can't overestimate the damage these Golems do as Warlock's just picked up another kill from the Grave. The Golems are a little too OP here for Dyer to deal with. Fortunate news though for the Lion. Another finger stack is gained. And they have the money for that Agonims. See, so Warlock. Oh, he is. He's going for his refresher next. He knows. He knows. He, uh, he feels like the true carry of this game. I've got to say. The, the Golems have been very, very, very impactful. I don't think we've seen a time where he's wanted to Golem and he's not been able to. And that's saying something against a Lion with a Blink Hex and a Blink Stun and a Drow with a Gust. And Warlock always gets the ult off. You can always rely on him. Incredibly reliable, this game. Back to the farm. Medusa desperately trying to fight them. They're sort of way out at the bottom spot on the board. And dying, he's just bought a heart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the tankiest of boys hit. Arcane into heart. Let's go. Level 18. 30, he's got 3k HP. And he hasn't even stolen any strength. Beautiful. Love to see it. Invoker's got the BKB queued up next. Playing for the safe build. Gonna go for the straight moonshot on Slada. They're a fan of the old bashing. And uh, indeed the Axe is out. 
Ghost Scepter. Maybe gonna go for the full E Blade next. See what how's Drow doing on the MKB front. I think they've got it done. All right, so we're going to see a bit of a step up in damage now for Drow with the MKB complete. Slardar's ready to fight. Jumps in. Drow, very, very dead. I mean, look at the minus armor between the two of them. And if they needed more damage, they've also got the Orchid complete. Undying's just going for it. Maybe feeling a little stronger than they are with the heart pickup. As they charge straight into the high ground. They're on their own. Fingers back up. Another stack. Claimed here for the lion. Oh, it's building up. It's building up. Oh, another a golem's back up, and that means somebody's gonna die. Stone gaze will come out, but Medusa, can they really get her out of there? They might actually be able to do so. Tornado MPs out. See where Warlock turns with the golems. He's gonna go over towards the slug. Slug gets the shadow dance off in time. Cold embrace is there. But Wyvern surely is gonna die after this. So I'm gonna get a bit of heal to curse! Oh! That'll save him! He's going to be fine. He's able to turn. It's going to be Slark that dies. They get the kill over to the side. Sunstroke from Evoker will catch on to Slada. He's got Blink back up in a second. He'll be fine. Slada's able to run away. And the Golems? We've got to watch these Golems. Uh, they're, they're, they're still going to go to work, of course, whilst the Warlock is dead. And it looks like he's going to opt to push the Midwave in. Make sure that Dyer don't get a chance to go for a Tier 1 Tower. I mean, yeah, curse there. Wyvern on the edge of his seat. More damage for them as well. MKB is what they want. Let's see what the Naga Siren wants to go for next. It's been a pretty sensible build so far with his Fusal Treads and Manta style. You'd only imagine Scardi is the natural item to pick up next. There's always the temptation for Heart or Butterfly, as uh, we've seen from a lot of these players. Yeah, Focus nearly got the BKB. What have we got down here? There we go. Undying. With that chase down. But uh, Drow's fine. Uh, they, they were aware that a lot of people were coming in to try and kill them. Do we get to spend the money? Okay, yeah. I can only imagine they're thinking of something like a heart or a butterfly. They're saving up 3k gold. They're probably going to get one of the big ones. Yeah, I've seen the Naga Siren use the illusions quite nicely. You know, the illusions are being used to push lanes in. Slada. 1,000 gold to go for the Moon Shard. And Drow. We'll see what options she wants to take after the MKB. Might need to buy something defensive. Bottom lane, apologies. Slark. He's getting a bit... Oh, that silence, though. That silence, though, that might just have done it. It does. Catching him with the Orchid off guard. Didn't have the Dark Pact pumped or the Shadow Dance. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's not happy. Buy back here from Slark. Straight back into the action. Ooh, I, love, I love it when the finger stacks build up. Undying. Also going to die here. But, I mean, if anything, Radiant, they got to buy back out of the Slark. So that's something quite nice. Seven stacks. Oh boy. And then you got that level 20 as well. I can only imagine. You got to take that finger of death damage per kill. Let's go. Let's max out the damage. How much damage are we getting for this? 280 burner bonus damage. Oh. Something up here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Bye. And they are. Is it another heart? We've seen this in so many games. Heart is very, very high on uh, the shopping list. For uh, a lot of the cores in Herald, they love the hearts. They really, really do. Refresh your... Oh, it's close. Just a recipe away for our Warlock. Slark going for a Scardy themselves as well. And Drow still yet to decide what they want to be doing next. This is going to be very nice for illusions. It's going to make them very hard to kill. Uh, she sends these illusions down the lanes. Gonna be nice. Medusa, the recovery is being made, boys and girls. No longer bottom of the net worth. Her time, it's it's coming. Her time is coming. You know it, I know it. Whoa! I mean, uh, well, I say whoa, well, but I mean, you gotta come to expect it. <laughs> this warlock sees you. He's throwing a golem onto you straight away. Straight away. Let's invoke a death for 70. Well, we got over here to the side. Wyvern. 
turn with the silence, the curse as well. Rest in peace, Lion. Absolutely rest in peace. No, as we have the backup from Medusa with the stone gate, she's fine. See what they're able to do with these golems. Over to the mid they go. Down the mid, they might be able to get some damage done to the high ground if they want to. Ooh, Nagasaren. Just the slow off onto Drought. Have the net in a second. Uh, do they want to keep diving? This is up uh, yeah, underneath the tier threes. Might be a little too much for the Naga Siren right now. They've got the creeps moving in mid. So backdoor protection is taken down. They'll be able to do some damage here with the push of the golems. Mid lane with the Desolator. They're making short work of this tier three tower. See, Naga Siren. In on top of the Medusa. Mana starting to get burnt. Slark, he's ready to fight though. Back in action and onto the Warlock. This time, not messing around. Popping Shadow Dance very early on. They'll try and go for the Naga Siren as well, but the song's back up. No curse for 25 seconds, so not too much that the Wyvern can offer. Of course, the base is getting split pushed very nicely. I mean, Undying is literally taking out this middle rack. And Slardar, they're working on the tier 3 bottom. Slark's going to try and chase for kills. They're going to have to get back to defend. They will do so, so the melee racks will stay alive. But Slardar... Yes, yeah, should have been able to set up for another tower to go down. So some good objectives taken by Radiant nonetheless. Oh, hang on. What happened to the, the Medusa? I can only imagine she got a little too close to the, the Naga Sara, and I think that's the case. Oh! Uh, this is, is this enough damage? It is! That's a very dead slark. Two minutes, he's called it. GG. The game... In Slark's eyes, at least could be superficially, it's over. He's called it. See what the rest of his team have to say about that. That's Drow. Ooh, looking for the Undying. Tombstone's down. Undying is going to need some backup. Going to need some help. Wyvern. Not quite near. I shall say that. They don't, don't get the opening. It looks like Lion was trying to get in, but the zombies were stopping them from being able to find a blink opportunity. Wyvern trying to solo the droughts. Not, oh, it's not working out. Oh, is it working out? Oh, no, it's not. They will die over in the mid. Lion commits with the finger, but it wasn't enough to get the kill. They're tanky, of course. There's Nagasaren with the heart. They'll move in. Slark, classic backseat all chatter from the grave. Whilst his team try their best to win this fight. And you know what? His team might just do it. So lol as much as you want, Mr. Slark. But your team... They're making the kills happen. Drought does die, but it's only the setup here for Lion to go and pick up another finger stack. Up to eight stacks now. Did indeed take the extra finger of death damage per kill. Has an Eon disc to protect themselves. Medusa versus the Golem. Will be successful Medusa. I see. Well, Slada wants to try and go for this, but Stone Gaze. Ready to go. Can Slada continue to run down this Medusa? Invoker will be here to help. He's got Blink in a second. But they've already got the cold snap and Vessel dropped down. Lion jumps back over. Fingers up. Oh, it's another. Oh, yeah. Another stack here for Lion. Oh, oh, oh. These fingers are getting pretty scary. You don't want to be poked by this person. These fingers are going to hurt. They're going to hurt. What do we have going on here? Scardy. It's getting close. Slark's got to keep his cool. He definitely seems to be the mo the most temperamental of the players on the dire side. They just need him to emotionally hold himself together. Pencil sword. That will do. That will that will cheer the Slark up. Get that over. He's still not got a neutral. Uh, unless he just sent one back to grab one. Let's hope that Penter Edge makes it well, its way over to the to the, the Slark, ideally. What do we have going on here? E-Blade after... It was nice to see the Lion step back for some defensive items, you know, rather than going for the Ghost Scepter Strength, the E-Blade did get that Eon Disc first. Oh, and actually, even playing very safe. Lion's been pretty big brain. The BKB's been queued up. So not even going for the E-Blade Rush, they're actually buying a BKB to make sure that they can get their spells off uninterrupted. See what things are happening here from the Undying. Radiance is going to be next. Lion tries for the jump in, but uh, they know that the finger won't quite do it on these two. Slark wants to step in that last few seconds of the Sentry Ward, spawning him out. Tornado MP combo off the mark. 
He's going to drop the tombstone, try and fight this. Stone Gaze will put an end to the channeling of the Warlock. The man has been drained completely of the Undying. Refresh it to get the Golem off. A little awkward on the timing, though, because the song was already out. They're fully focusing down this Slark, but Slark's able to get the Shadow Dance off. Curse will pull him to the side. As full focus is put in onto the Medusa, Medusa goes down, Slark. Why? The Invis? They don't have detection. They don't have it. They don't have it. The Shadow Blade will save him. He's away. And he might actually go for a kill. Wyvern. Slark. Oh. Silence comes into play. Is Wyvern going to be able to run? Or playing from the high ground. Slark. One of a pounce. Oh, but Wyvern. Oh, it needs one more hit. And I didn't do it. Oh, the Shadow Blade. He went Invis again. Meanwhile, they are pushing the barracks. And they are going to get them. Slark's back in. And he will get the kill. Slark wins the war. Oh, he wins the battle, but I guess the war for the Dyer is being lost. As bottom lane, they've lost the melee racks. Mid lane, they've lost the melee racks. One more can they get here. We'll see the jump forward. Slark is ready to lead in. Warlock's going to be the first target. Slark gets the kill. Ready to go for more. Buffed up as well. Invoker with the backup. And whoa, oh, there's the finger. As they take down another. And Slark, of course, not done yet. Ready to look for the Naga Siren. Going through the illusions here, trying to find the real one. Now he's going to have eyes on him. Jumps in. Keep those stacks going. They're building up big time, baby. We're into the 50s. They have Song. Do they, they do have TP. That's how they feel that they can walk this one off. Slark, Slark's going to absolutely chase. Oh, boy. Slark is coming. 53 steps. Oh, the... Okay. All right. It's going to live. Regen rune as well. Lovely stuff. Get that mana back up. What's going on here? Slardar versus Invoker. Fight. Dun, 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 Whoa! The fight, it comes to an abrupt end. As the lion swings in with a finger. Naga Siren didn't want to be here. It's back to base. There you go. Slark claims another 24 permanent Aji. The stacks are building up big time for Dyer. The, the essence shift. The finger stacks. Level 25. We'll see what they want to take. They're going to go with the AoE Hex. I like it. BKB is nearly done. That's a close one, this one. Less than one. We're 36 to 36. 41 minutes in. I love it. Mid lane Slark. He loves it too. He's going great. Oh, but the curse. And the heal? Oh, they're saving him! The Sunstrike hits in! Oh, he still dies, the Warlock! But Slark will pay with his life. Ha 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 Slark found that very witty. Very humorous. A very humorous situation, says the Slark. Radiance is nearly done. My near relics. Yeah, he's got to add the Radiance. It's coming out. Axe for the Invoker. Oh, timeless relic as well. Lovely stuff. Sit and try for Undying. Medusa trying to get in position for the Stone Gaze to set up, but uh, not going to happen. Tornado. Nice try. Don't get the angle. The Scardi from the Medusa might be enough. I think it will be. Look who's here. Oh, it's another. Aeon Disc. It's going to keep him safe. There's no curse for 20 seconds. Wyvern's in a lot of trouble. BKB's popped. I mean, he's fine. This man's not going to die. Slider. Oh, the crush. It's not going to get him. The bash, though. The pushback with the gust lion. They do die. They're finally able to end the reign of the lion. But not before he got another snack. Twelve stacks here on the finger. Ah, yeah. Ah, Ag's next for the Medusa. What's going on in mid? They've got the double golem. I feel like for the early golems, the last few have been a bit awkward. We want to see some double golem action. I want to see those golems slap. What do you get? 20 on Warlock. Something nice. Golem on death. Why not? More golems. More golems. Golem, 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 golem. Drow. Well, you got to be careful here, Drow. This man will drop a golem on your head. You know it, it's happened before. It has some defensive capabilities now with the man to the BKB. It's also nice and speedy with the boots to travel. 
What's the plan here for Slark? For the amount that Slark's been doing, he doesn't actually have... Well, well, I guess it's good farm, but it's not like it's not like insane farm. You know, this man's not really been interested in hitting creeps. He's just hitting heroes, which is uh, I think it's great. I mean, that's the kind of slug that I like to play. Just run at the heroes, and honestly, the the Wyvern's presence has just been a bit of a dream for him. Sure, he's died a few times for it, but uh, we have seen the cold embrace just allowing him to build those stacks up. Oh, Drow, what's the plan here? BKB, BKB, and run. I'm gonna keep chasing though. Might, might have wanted a BKB TP. Oh, the Dukes. They're trying their best to hide. Oh, the TP, but the Golem. Oh, Warlock, he was waiting for that one. Oh, he was ready. He was very, very satisfied there to drop his ult. Get that push going. Top lane. Slardar versus Slark. Now, on paper, Slark should win this. Let's see if my paper's correct. Oh, he's going to have jump again. I mean, Slard Slardar's, Slardar's going to try and chase this. Ah, he can't do so. Slark's back into the shadows. Yeah, Slark a little too slippery for a Slardar to take down 1v1 right now. I mean, as I say that, I mean, they might go for another round. Slark's still on the run. I mean, Slark could kill the Slardar. You know, we, we know it. You know it. I know it. He, he probably knows it. I think he's, he's going to try for it. Let's see what Slardar can do. I think Slardar's out of options. It's a hard fight. It's a hard fight to take. Especially when Invoker comes up and ruins your day as well. Bottom lane, what's happening? What's happening? They popped the fortification. Ooh, I don't know about that. They, I, know, I think the racks were already gone, weren't they? So that's a nice little bit of an opening here for the Radiant. And yeah, Slardar wants to hit hard. For the Daedalus. Wait, he had a Hyperstone earlier. Did he sell it? I guess he did. Anyway, see the golem dropped in the middle of the fight. Stone Gaze will allow Radaya to back away safely. Wyvern's looking for the curse. He's going to start him with the hits on towards Lion. Lion turns the stone onto the two of them. Pushback as well from the Deafening Blast, but he's burning out and he will die. Warlock will fall, but the golem on death is going to be more golems. They get the setup here onto the Medusa. Burning the mana down as well. Dying hits the punch of the golem. Medusa's dead. Slark shattered on some cooldown. He's dead as well. There's three dead on Dire. They don't have buybacks. It's going to be up to the Invoker and Drow to defend. And Radiant, they're closing it up. Nagasaren wants more kills. They're going for the Drow. Mantis pop. Drow's back into the base. Drow is turning. Nagasaren. Oh, they're going to die. A little bit of a fountain dive gone wrong here for Radiant. As they've lost both the, the Naga Saren and the Undying. They're not going to be able to end this game today. The Golem, he's doing his best effort to close this one up. As he will take the tier 4. He's going to now try and start for the Invoker. As Invoker's desperately trying to get these siege creeps off the Ancient. But they, 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 they will hold. Dire will hold. Undying have a bit, having a bit of a giggle now as well. Why prolong? They feel that they've got this one in the bag. Radiant. Dyer feel that they have maybe a bit of a comeback under their sleeve. It's Dyer, they won't give up. They won't give up. Slark as well. He may have had his rough emotional times earlier in the game. But this man's recovered and he's ready to win. He called GG. Back many, many yonders ago. It was about 10 minutes ago or something. Uh, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. This man has realized there's still a hope. There's still a chance. Oh, we got a refresher recipe. But where's the... Where's the... Uh, he's just, okay, he's just got the recipe first, I guess. Yeah, he did. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. He's gonna... He's, yeah, he pretty much got the money to get that full refresher. And honestly, we've seen some good stuff from Invoker this game. Some really nice combos. Deafening Blast have saved lives. So we're going to get the double combo on that. Let's have a look. Yeah, Roshan's still yet to get taken out by either team. I've not quite f found the opportunity to do so. I mean, both teams take it down pretty nicely. But uh, as we do see, a lot of hesitation for going up for Roshan at this level. Naga Siren versus the Slark. A bit of fish-on-fish fish action, uh, action here. 
And Slark. Oh, he's going to get him in the pounce. And Naga is very tanky. Songs at the... Oh, they can set this up. They're surrounding the Slark. Slark, he's already used Shadow Dance. Shadow Dance is on court, and he's got the Shadow Blade, though, and they don't have detection again. So the Shadow Blade's enough. He'll escape. Slark's going to be fine. They don't find the opportunity to set up. In fact, Slark, he's going to maybe try and get back in onto one of them. He's sneaking forward. BKB popped by the Drow as Drow's going to focus down Naga Siren over to the side. Slark is just dead. Whoa. That's a lot of damage. Slark's dead. Naga Siren might have a bit of a cleanup on their hands. The Tombstone's dropped down. Golem as well. Straight on top of the Medusa. Stone Gaze, of course, has already been used. They won't be able to save themselves. Drow does turn to kill off the Slada. See if Invoker and Drow can get the way out of this. Slark's buying back. He's buying back and he's TPing over. Maybe at the preparation of a further fight, but I don't know if Radiant will give it to them. And his long fights are working out for the Undying. He's got the heart and that Radiant spurning away. Slark, he's going to go for the Wyvern. Straight in with the jump. Wyvern gets the cold embrace off in time, but the finger's there. The magical damage bursts through his frozen chamber to end his life. See if they can get anything more here. Radiant pushing on with the deafening blast. First knockback there from the Invoker. It's Lion. Should have finger back up again pretty shortly. Slark still poking from the back. Has got the ult. Again, Silver Edge saving his life. They don't quite have eyes on him. They've got to be careful. This is a big group up. All fingers ready. Stun's a little early, but they're so grouped up. Oh, you've got to see a finger. Come on, give him something good. If they need help. I mean, Slark is kind of dying slowly, even with the Shadow Dance popped. Lion's just really waiting for that opportune moment to get the finger off. And dying is low, but Naga Siren is causing issues for the Slark. Slark can't quite yet commit to get the kill on Undying. They're healing up. Now they'll go back in, and now they'll finish off the job. Undying's taken down. Naga Siren's chasing down the line, but it's only the Naga Siren left on Radiant. Everybody else is dead. Another Hex. Lion's going to be fine. I say that they're stunned. He's got the stun, 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 stun. Woo! He's in blinkers, blinkers already. He's fine. He turns. He even gets the hex off. Oh, he's just taunting them. Oh, ho, ho. oh, outplay here. As Naga Siren will die. And Lion walks off into the distance. Cool guys don't look at the explosions. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, Dyer. They're building up the money now. Maybe there's a reason why they're prolonged. Undying's being a little bit silent, probably feeling a little uncomfortable with the state of the game now. Get back, get back indeed from Undying. We're going to need some defensive items. BKB's next up for, for Slada. Oh, what do we have here? Level up. I mean, the damage continues to come out from Wyvern. Go for a full butterfly after the MKP Daedalus Desolator build. The right clicks do hurt. Lion. Poison. Oh, this finger's gonna hurt. He just needs to get it off. BKB. Medusa in from the side. Oh, the curse is there in time. Uh, Wyvern. Oh, they're not even using the finger. Not saving it maybe for someone else. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's another stack. 14 stacks. Oh, baby. Keeping a hold of that Pentra Edge as well. He wants to help with the push. There's three heroes. I mean, two don't have buybacks. Slardar and Wyvern, no buybacks. First Golem. Second Golem. The combo's there. Heavy, heavy damage. Dyer's got to be careful. The end disc is, is popped. Trying to turn and deal with the Golems. They will manage to, to work their way through them. The Golems, as soon as they're out, they're in, they're out. They'll try and move on here with the illusions from the Naga Siren. The three of Radiant desperately trying to defend this bottom lane from Dyer. Three versus five. It is working. It is working so far. The Butterfly and the Heart done on the Naga Siren. The illusions do take a bit of time to take down. Slark. Oh, he's ready to go into the base. He's ready to go in deep. He's going to start his work here on towards the wall. The Cataclysm comes down. The song is used, but Naga Siren's got to run. And they're out of range of the Undying, so Undying is not going to be saved. As Undying down once, we'll be back with that second life. But they're ready to deal with him a second time. The Tombstone taken down straight away. Undying is dead. 
The rack's exposed. Dyer. They'll be able to get at least one set. Maybe even more. There's no buyback on Warlock. There's no buyback on Undying. As Dyer, 24k up. Maybe a fountain dive gone too far by Radiant. As now they're the ones struggling to keep their base safe. Slark's in. He's looking for his target. Slardar's patient at the side. Jump in. Straight away. They'll get the curse off. But uh, Medusa, this split shot is causing issues for the Wyvern. Wyvern is able to sneak back to base. Into the fountain. Wyvern will live. Diet, they're turning towards the towers, the tier fours. They're going to look to try and end it. Where's Invoker heading? Okay, he's going to... He's backed off from the push. It's fine. They've got a lot of right click from the rest of the lineup. BKB from Drought. Cataclysm's out. Drought on the retreat. Quick turn with the Snare. Quick turn with the Satanic. Drow's back up to full HP. They've got the Stone Gaze back up and ready to go again. Nagasar is trying to get the Lion, but Lion's fine. Nagasar is figured Lion. Nagasar is dead. 100 seconds. They'll go. They get the jump in onto the Drow. But Slardar's also out. 100 seconds. The buyback has just come back online for the Nagasaran. Slark's just killing them outside the fountain. And he's still got Shadow Nars to go. He's under no threat whatsoever. Everybody dead. Apart from the Nagasaran here. As what can they do to hold? The song. Just buying time. BKB. Oh, Lion's in with the BKB. Oh. I'm not going to get the wood. The heck's a Lion. Lion, dying to the illusions. Undying's back in. The zombies are chasing them. They're going to start to pull the defense together. As they move it onto the Medusa. Slark. He may have lost his Medusa, but he's still feeling strong. Is he strong enough to do this? He's not got Shadow Dance. He's not got Shadow Dance. He's just dead. And the finger. It wasn't enough to kill the Undying. Slark's dead for two minutes. Nagasarin with the chase over to the Lion. They may be 24 k Net worth down, but they're fighting on their defending. Space has been had, though. The rest of Dyer, they're backed off from the moves that were being made here in the base of Radiant. They're going for the Roshan. Drown Medusa, they'll clean this up quite nicely. Actually having a buyback coming out for Lion. A little unexpected there, a little unnecessary. Roshan's down. Aegis, who's going to take it? Medusa's going to make the call. They'll grab themselves a second chance here in these fights. 56 minutes into the game. We love it. Come back. It has been confirmed here by the Slardar. They know that they're slipping behind a little bit, but they can feel it. They can feel that they have a comeback within them. Or we have Emma Yon here for the Invoker. I've got to be a little careful on the buybacks. I mean, they're short on the gold for that one. Lion, of course, with their buyback already used, they'll pick up the E Blade. Full burst, ready to go. Oh. Oh, here we go. Drow's going for this. Maybe able to get in and tow. Oh, that's not enough damage. Wyvern's going to live. Golem's going to get dropped down onto the Drow. The Cataclysm will finish up the life of the Wyvern. Chase down over towards the Lion. Selfie Blade keeps them safe from the right clicks of the Slada. The turn with the tornado combo into the deafening blast. Slada getting low. Can they finish him off? And Meatballs will do it. Refreshers popped a second deafening blast. Hot stuff here from the Invoker. Cataclysm comes out, but they're out to the side. Does help clean up the, some of the, the golems. I see the song from Nagasaran being used here is Radiant. They know they've got to run. They've lost Slada, they've lost Wyve, and neither with buybacks. As the push is going to be coming in. Swinging around this bottom lane. Also making sure to keep the base defended. Invoker and Slark. They'll bring back out the mid lane. Moonshot. An interesting. A bit of a different build from the Medusa. But dare I say one that works for them. One that works for them. What do we have going on here? Maybe a... Oh, the swift blink. I mean, hey, when you're carrying a penta edge, hitting harder, a little, hitting, you know, hitting a little faster is pretty nice. It's a swift blink penta edge lion. Got a good balance here between the building hitting and the hero bursting with the finger. Maybe time to push again. They've still got two minutes and a half on their ages. 
Boost is in. Oh, this could be tough for the Radiant. They're still without Slardar and Wyvern. Wyvern's up in a few Wyvern's up in a few seconds. BKB's popped. He's got his Radiance turned off as well for some reason. Let's hope he realizes to turn that back on. But they, they, they're getting the space here to take these towers down. Warlock nearly has the double golems. Very, very close. Uh, Voke is just dead to the illusions here. We'll see the step up. E-Blade into the finger. That's going to be undying down once. This curse should be the end of the lion. Maybe the end of the Medusa as well. As they step over with the silence. Are they going to be able to get the stone gaze off? They put the stone gaze, but the physical's too much. And now they're dead without ultimate. Top lane, we have Slark and Drow going for objectives. Mid, Medusa's second life won't last long. As they take her down once again, Slark is looking for the mega creeps. Looking for the mega creeps here. He's not going to be able to stick around for them. The golem's thrown down. Slark is on the retreat. Drow having a bit of an issue here with the Naga Siren. Slark's not even going to try and help. He knows that it's a lost cause. He's away. Radiant have held. Oh, money, 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 money. Uh, but they, they've held. They only have one melee Rax left. But there's three heroes dead on Dyer. And they don't have buybacks. They do not have buybacks. So time to run it down the lanes. Undying has switched their Radiance back on. They're going down mid. The rest of Radiant are pushing furiously up on this top lane. They might actually be in a position now to get the Mega Creeps first. Slark. Double damage. That's pretty scary. That's pr that's very, very scary. Oh, but the Shadow... Oh, the Shadow Blade! It's late game sort of Shadow Blade pickup. It's going to keep the Undying safe. Slark. He still wants to go. He's going to jump in. Shadow Dance very early here. Make sure that you can commit for one kill. Gets the Wyvern. They have lost the Rax, though. Slark will get another. But they're in onto the Slark. Slark's just dead! He has buyback. It's going to be up to him and Invoker to hold. Can they do it? BKB's out on the two of them. Refresher's popped. Invoker's going to be ready with another round of the combo. Undying. It's going to be the first target here for the Slark Slark. It's going to step away. The Ancient is exposed. Radiant, they're just going to look to try and close this. Invoker's dead. He's got buyback. He's going to have to use it straight away. They're, they're ending it. Can Dyer defend this? Undying goes down. But Nagasar is just finishing it. They're looking to close up the game. They're going to be able to do so. Lol. Says the Undying here. Mamma mia. You had hopes. Why prolong? They were right all along when they asked the question. There we go. Radiant. Get the win. In a game that, I don't know, that graph it looked like it was going to be going the other way. Impressive stuff though, Radiant keeping their cool and closing it up. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed another Herald cast here. Be sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. I hope you have a beautiful day and uh, I'll see you next time for some more Dota 2.